What's going on guys, it's CTA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to switch the theme of RetroArch. So some of you might boot up RetroArch on your Android device, PC, or your Raspberry Pi and it looks something like one of these screens here. Well in this video, I'm going to show you how to switch it out to the XMB theme that looks like this. A majority of the time with newer devices, when you download RetroArch from the Play Store or online, it should look like this, but sometimes, for some unknown reason to me, it ends up using the older GUI. So first things first, I'm going to show you how to swap to XMB from the GLUI, that looks like this, and then when I'm finished showing you how to swap from this one, we're going to move over to the older RGUI, and I'll show you how to switch from this to XMB. This problem tends to happen on a lot of Android devices, so I have a Nexus 9 tablet here we're going to demonstrate it on, but if you're on a PC and for some reason it looks like the old themes, you can just follow along. It's going to be under the same exact settings that I show you here. First thing we need to do is download RetroArch. I'm getting it from the Play Store here. Let it finish downloading and install to your device. When it's finished installing, we want to go ahead and start it up. Allow access to internal storage. We're going to allow here. And sometimes it looks a little funky. So what we want to do is kind of close out of it. I'm just going to go ahead and kill the app. Give it a little time to extract the assets. And we should be good to go. So this is where it can get a little iffy with some devices. Fortunately, most tablets will have touch enabled from the get-go. If you're using an Android TV, you might want to connect a Bluetooth controller so we can navigate. We want to head over to settings. It's at the very bottom of this menu here, little settings icon. From here, we want to find driver. It's right at the top. Next, menu driver. And finally, from here, we want to select XMB. Make sure the menu driver is set to XMB, and we're going to back up one menu. Oh, at the very top, we'll have a little backup button. And we're going to go back to the main menu. From here, we want to choose Configuration, Save Current Configuration, and make sure you do choose this. There we go. Now we're going to back up one more time, and we're going to exit RetroArch. From the very bottom here, we should have a Quit button. And that's it. Next time you start up RetroArch, you will have the XMB theme enabled. It's a good idea to get the device in landscape mode before you open it up. And there you have it. You're now switched over to the XMB driver or the XMB theme. So like I mentioned in the beginning, we just switched from the GLUI to XMB. Now we're going to move over to the RGUI and I'm going to show you how to swap it from there. So here's an even older driver. This is called RGUI. Now, I've never had any luck getting touch working in RGUI, so you will have to connect a controller or a keyboard and mouse to navigate this menu. I'm using the IPEGA 9083, but you can use any Bluetooth controller as long as it links up with your tablet, phone, or PC. The very first thing we want to do is scroll down to Settings. We're going to enter the Settings menu. The very top says Driver. We're going to scroll down to Menu Driver. Now we're set to RGUI, we're going to enter this menu and change it to XMB. We're just going to back up all the way to the main menu, Configuration, Save Current Configuration. Make sure it's saved. Now we're going to back up once and go to Quit. And that's it. So next time you start RetroArch, you're going to be using the XMB driver or the XMB theme, whatever you want to call it. We're going to start it up here. And there it is. So that's pretty much it. You're now on XMB. If you need a full RetroArch tutorial, I have made one in the past. I'll leave a link in the description. It shows you how to add games and start playing them from within RetroArch. If you guys could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.